Okay, now we're going to do an iPhone 5S. Same thing. Yeah, it's a little more Okay, so we're going to use the panel up here to take the bottom two screws out. If it doesn't respond, it's because the digitizer flex has been damaged. Five S, you want to be careful because As you can see, there's a little cable here that's connecting the phone still to the phone. Um, the um, home button to the phone. So we're going to stick our knife in here and pull this thing out. I'm going to close it so it doesn't fly off. And then as you can see, that's what it is. That little critter right there. And then the rest is the same as the iPhone 5. But, uh, There we go. Same thing. Hold it down. Grab it here and one, two, lift up. Okay. Same concept. Gonna and if you want, you can clean the uh, the flex connectors with some alcohol. There's still something that got caught onto there that was interfering with the connection. I'm going to put that aside. Grab our new screen. Connected to the flux cable right here. This guy. You're gonna push it this way and then that way. Like that. Okay. This bottom one's really tricky because there's a, a little piece right there that you don't want to lose while unscrewing. So you basically unscrew it, but not completely, only enough to open it right here. So I'm going to remove the home button. You can also use a heat gun 
to help get rid of the adhesive. We're also going to borrow that piece right there. And this piece right here. Okay, there we go. Now we're just going to reattach it to the board. All right. 
same with the iPhone 5 as in another video I'll show you the complete bake breakdown. And once again we're gonna reconnect this here. And then we're going to replace this. As you can see, and that takes practice as well. And bam, now we have a working phone. Okay. Thank you for, of course, you can put the bottom screws back in as well. Thank you.